possible to build interactive, casual, arcade-style gaming in websites using HTML5. Yeah, I think so. Like the video t uh, tag, mm -hmm. that I, sorry, the canvas tag that I showed, the, mm -hmm. the, the person moving in the arcade, that was not a real game, but it could quickly be d developed into a real game. And it's written in JavaScript, you know? Um, it runs very fast. We've made the fastest JavaScript engine on Earth available in Opera 10.5. We're seeing a lot of competition in that space, and I think JavaScript will come out as the winner of uh, the, 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 as the, you know, the programming language of choice on the web. That's been clear for a while, and that's why we're seeing all these people optimize their, their engine. And uh, we're happy to compete with uh, other companies in that space. It's, uh, it's an important area. Uh, just just continue on the thread of uh, in-browser gaming. Uh, I focus on netbooks, netbooks yeah. and tablets, and a lot of in-browser gaming currently is too graphics heavy for uh, the lighter form factors. Yeah. In HTML5 moving forward, do you think that these lighter form factors will, uh, will, will be easier for people to create uh, higher graphics games? Yeah, I think it will become possible to, to, to do more things with regards to form factors. And I'd like to show you a demo. This is something I didn't have time to do in the general presentation, but I'd like to show you how CSS3, you can deal with different form factors. Um, it, this, this demonstration is not specifically to gaming, but it's specifically to, to the presentation of uh, um, documents. And here's my... So, so here's my, my, my web page. This is my home page. And it has a picture, and it has text next to it, and it has a little bit of text over there, and it has borders along the sides because I have room for that on this screen, because this is you know a, a laptop screen. Now I can, I can, um, I'm going to resize this page, and I just need to look at it to to catch it. So as I resize this, but can you see this page? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as I resize this page, the thing compresses, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, like you expect it to be. But at some point, the style, there isn't really enough room for the borders and having text next to each other. So I change the presentation. Mm -hmm. um, and this is done by way of style sheets. I just there said when the screen is less than, I think, 600 pixels, I use another style sheet. So this way, those who create this content can apply a few different style sheets, one for the big screens, one for the medium screen, and then you can go you know, even smaller, and you can create a very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, this is powerful technology. Style sheets can make you look really bad. Be careful. <laughs>